Hey guys, do you love brass home decor accents? Do you love vintage goodies for your house? If so, you're going to want to watch this video. My name is Morgan from charlestoncrafted.com and I am sharing lots of new goodies that I have in my Etsy shop. So I buy vintage finds. I like to go thrifting to antique stores to different yard sales and things like that and I buy things that excite me and most of them I put around my own house but otherwise I would be a hoarder I cannot keep all the items that I find so I share some of them with you my loyal followers readers and just random people who are shopping so if you want to check out my site it's on Etsy you can search for Charleston craft or you can just use the link in the description of this video. It's charlestoncraft.etsy.com. And so yesterday I just added a bunch of new goodies that I had been hoarding for a while and hadn't listed. So I'm really excited about all this new stuff. Let's check it out. If you're wondering where I am, this is my office. It's very rarely seen on the blog because it's not cute. Like we haven't painted the walls in here. Look at the ceiling. Popcorn! So we haven't done the ceiling, we haven't done the walls. I bought the cheapest possible shelves at Walmart when we moved in just to hold all of my crafting supplies over here. So you can kind of see they're organized. And then we have a computer desk. So the desk is the IKEA Himnez, Imnez, um desk that it was actually my sister's in her college apartment, and she took the drawer off because it bumped her knees. And we also have the day bed. That This actually pulls out to be a full king-size bed, so it's pretty cool. But that's not what you're here for. You are here for brass. So let's see. Let me flip the camera around. All right. Here is where the magic happens. This is my stock room. Here are shipping supplies. We're on the bottom, gift wrap shoved in the middle, and here's lots of brass goodness. I would be lying if I said that some of the stuff isn't around our house, because it is. I have a lot of the pieces on display, on especially on this cabinet that I have in our dining room. But let's talk about some of the fun stuff that I have. And everything that you see here is for sale on my Etsy shop. The only thing that is not listed for sale yet and it's only because I am waiting to figure out the shipping and I just ordered some larger shipping things are these baby peacock chairs. Um, they're not listed yet. And I also have, look at how cool this is. This is like a bamboo wicker wine bottle caddy, but it also looks really cute with a vase of flowers in there. So I have a single and a double really cool. So I have not listed these yet because I haven't figured out how to ship them. If you're interested in them before they even get listed, shoot me a message and maybe we can work something out. All right, so let's start with the goodness. I got a lot of Christmas stuff because people start shopping for Christmas stuff I found around September. So this is a candelabra and it's holly wreath. And I just love those little red holly berries, y'all. They're so precious. It holds four candles. I think it would be really pretty on the center of your dining room table. It's standard taper candles and it just would be really dramatic. I think it would be gorgeous with some dark Christmas green taper candles in there. So additionally, some more Christmas things that I have. Let me dig through. I got one of these reindeers and I see these sometimes and I haven't been buying them because it hasn't been Christmas. But now that it's approaching the season, I'm going to be scooping them up. I'm interested to see how he sells because I see these a lot. So if y'all like them, let me know. I can stock a lot more. But he holds a taper candle, and I think he'd be so pretty on your mantle with garland in front of him. You could see someone who had him in a previous life had a red candle in there, and I think that would be gorgeous for Christmas. I got a, I got a couple of these Christmas tree candle holders. And that is made for a mantle, am I right? Put it right over your stocking with the candle in it. Or right in the center if you don't do stockings, that'd be cool. I have a bigger one back there too. Same thing. This one's the baby, that one's the mama. Very cute. 
I got this brass. This holds a little bit smaller candles than taper, but it holds five candles, and that's just would be so dramatic in your kitchen, somewhere like that. With some other goodies. I have all these baby ducks. If anybody's planning a party and you want like a place card with a baby duck at each place, I mean, these things are heavy. And they're cool. I have a whole bunch of them. So message me if you want a bunch and we can figure out a deal. I've got lots of little unicorns. Check them out. Hey, buddy. Two big unicorns. There's two little unicorns. I got these all in a box. And I guess a unicorn hoarder either gave up their collection or passed. <laughs> I have a ton. If you like the look of graduated brass, tulip candlesticks. I have them sorted in here in sets. So I have a bag so I don't accidentally send somebody the wrong thing. But this is what they look like. And I have them in different heights. So you graduate different heights together in a cluster. And I have several of these sets. They are gorgeous. I did a mantlescape for spring that I think I had 24 of these on the mantle. It was stunning, y'all. It looks so nice. These really make a statement. I mean, you could cluster three, four, five on a smaller table or do 20 down a whole table. They make a huge impact. So I have several sets of those. Those do really well. I have some of these brass um, trumpet candlesticks too, which I think are really cool and very unique for the holidays or for any time. Now let's talk about this girl. She's new. I just listed her yesterday. I got her over the weekend. She looks kind of sad. She's homeless. She needs a home. Does anyone have a loving home they want to share with her? She could be all yours. Look at that face. I think she's adorable. She's actually quite large and heavy. Not too heavy, but definitely not completely hollow. So. If you like a sweet little baby, I think she would just be so adorable picking off a bookshelf. Let's see what else. These are always really good sellers. So I listed two crabs yesterday. And let's see. He's cool. These used to be ashtrays back in the day, but now they're more like trinket dishes. His arms wiggle. Hey. And his back opens up. Pretty groovy. If you have a nautical home or any kind of beachy decor to sit him on top of a stack of books in your bookcase I think is just so cute you also could always prop him up kind of like this really stinking cute right I have two of these available they're slightly different let's see I have several giraffes if you're into giraffes I'm your girl look at that guy he's so tall I've got one back there that's a mama and baby kissing on the mouth. I think it's so stinking cute. There's another giraffe right there. Giraffes for days, y'all. Brass bells. Very popular. This one is Christmas. Ding, ding. Very cute. Sweet for the holidays. Also see back there, a mama mouse and a baby mouse. They have long tails. I think you could use them to put your rings on or once again use them in any kind of vignette, vignette decor. Okay, we got to talk about this. I know a lot of people are big gator people, especially if you're from Florida, gators are what's up. This is a nutcracker and I'm not just bragging, but I saw on Instagram stories that Orlando, if you know him, he's a <laughs> decorating blogger has one of these so you could be just like Orlando and watch him go chomp 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 I don't know if I would actually crack a note with it like the nuts I buy are either pre-cracked or they're pistachios so like you don't need this but it would be so stinking cute in a bookshelf in your room on your bedside table at your desk at work if you're a Gators fan good gift all right, let's see what's up here. I have some little baby guys. So this is a little Pegasus, and I think it's so sweet. I don't think he's a unicorn because he doesn't have a horn. So I think that means Pegasus. 
I also have the tiniest little bulldog and he is so precious. Look at his little face. And I love the patina on here. So I used to polish all of the brass that I bought before I sold it. And I quit doing that because I actually like the patina. Because it is old. You don't want it to look like something that you just bought at Target last week. Like, this is vintage good stuff, y'all. So he's a sweet little bulldog. Really good patina there. This is cool. I had a few of these and most of them have sold. This is the only one I have left. This is a clip. Like a paper clip. But it's a duck. Or a goose. Quack, quack. Love him. So cool. I have two new seashells that I just listed today. This is like a sea urchin. And you can see about how big it is. It's about the size of the palm of my hand. And this is heavy, y'all. This weighs at least a couple pounds. This would be an awesome paperweight. Or sit it, I used to keep saying this, but sit it right on the pile of books. In the middle of a stack of books. That makes a cute little nautical statement. Without, I mean, you don't need a two foot tall brass giraffe. If you want a two foot tall brass giraffe, I'm your girl. We got you one. But if you don't want to make that big of a statement, this is a great way to bring a little bit of warmth, golden color, and nautical charm and whimsy to your home. I also have a sand dollar. And the brass sand dollar is so cute. Actually, I was thinking this would be fun to frame. It's very thin. So you could totally put it in sort of a floating frame with a thick mat. But also, once again, sit it on any tabletop. Maybe if you have a little dish, set it in the dish along with some coins from foreign countries that you travel to. I think that's a really fun, warm, whimsical addition to any room. Now, people love these little trinket boxes. Let me show you him. He's so sweet. He's a little turtle. And he opens right up to be a case. And this is actually a pretty good sized little container. You could actually put something in his shell. Close it back up. And I just think this would be really fun. Like a surprise if somebody's poking around on your shelf and sees oh look a turtle and they touch it and they're like oh it opens. And then you could put something something funny in there. Something small in there. Adorable. Turtle turtle. Let's see what else we have. There's the other crab. Back here's an owl. People go crazy for owls, y'all. Look at that patina. He's so cute. He's another really heavy one. Um, he is really a paperweight. Has a lot of weight behind him. And I love his feathers. And I really love that the feathers go all the way around. I think that's really special. And these vintage pieces really do have a lot of textural details. That are harder to find nowadays. Back in my day. Also, I had a full set, so I had bowls, I had mugs, and I had canisters of these owls back here. And all that's left is the salt and pepper shakers. So if you're into owls, I do have this. This is ceramic. So you'll notice I primarily sell brass. I've tried selling some ceramic. I sell a little bit of blue and white glass, but I have a hard time shipping it. You can't really trust that things won't get busted in the mail. And I've had a bad experience, and of course... You know, it's not the customer's fault, so I have to eat that cost. So I stick to brass primarily because it's not going to get damaged. It's not going to get broken. It's sort of timeless, always in style. And I decorate with a lot of cool colors. Blues, grays, silvers. And brass is a way to warm up the tones in a room. And I just love the fun and whimsy of these little guys. They're so sweet. I can't believe this has been in the shop for as long as it has. I thought it would have sold because it's fabulous. It is a wooden pineapple bowl. Everybody loves pineapples. You can see that it was genuine monkey pod, handmade in the Philippines. But it's laminated with Capiz shell. And pictures cannot do this justice. It is truly luminescent. But it glows. It's pearly. It's beautiful. I mean, this would be perfect on a coffee table, on a sofa table, prop it up on a bookshelf like that. I love it. I don't know. We thought, we talked about it might sell better if I painted it white. But I think if I painted it white, then this shell would just look kind of dirty because it's not white. You can see it next to the door. It's a very creamy, yellowish, off-white. 
and the wood is in really good shape like it doesn't need to be painted sometimes I paint things because they're busted this is in good shape so buy me give me a home and there once again is the rattan little peacock chairs that I have I think they are perfect for a flower pot or something small like that or if you had little dolls if you had a child that had teddy bears or dolls or something what else do I have up here I have this little whale he's cute he's an ashtray but he's clean he doesn't smell like cigarettes or anything so fun I don't know I would stick like so it has the two slots I guess where your cigarette would let rest but I think it would be funny to sit your little pen sticking in there like the pen that you work with the most that you don't need in a pencil cup this made me really happy, so I hope it would make somebody else happy too. It's a clip that says, at once. And I imagine this in your office. This is like stuff you need to get to at once. You need to do it right away. I think that's fun. I like colorful, pretty office stuff. So these I never actually listed. I listed them on eBay, but I don't really have enough to make the shipping worth it. I found these at a thrift store a long time ago and I thought I was going to collect the whole dish collection but I already have a set of vintage fine china and I already have my everyday china so I don't really think I need these. If anybody is interested let me know. I have three of them. They're slightly different. The pattern is Acapulco. I've tried to sell them on eBay but because there's only three of them, the shipping cost kind of outweighs the value. But if anybody who's local and is interested, hit me up. What else do I have in here? Oh, yeah. I can't believe this is still here either. It's funny the things that sell fast and things that sit. This is a pineapple hook. Hanging on your wall. So cute. It is like a raw iron material. I think it would be so cute next to your back door. You could hang your umbrella on it. So fun. Pineapples are really trendy. And they're also the southern symbol for hospitality and welcome. So, gotta love you some pineapples. That's cute. I have some other silver trays up here that I couldn't figure out how to ship in an economical way. Um, so they're chilling. If you're interested, let me know. And let's chat for a minute about shipping. Because we live in this world and I'm definitely a part of the problem here. That you're so used to Amazon shipping. You, you want shipping to be free. And you want shipping to be really fast. And by you, I don't mean you. I mean just people in general. I'm so used to free shipping. When I see somebody that charges for shipping, it just boggles my mind. And so you'll see on my Etsy site... That I charge for shipping and sometimes I charge a lot for shipping like shipping some things is I sent someone two sets of candlesticks last week and it was $25 to ship them but sometimes I lose money on shipping like I'm not making any money and I'm not even charging a handling fee so I don't even charge really for the supplies or the packing stuff just shipping is expensive and things that are heavy or large or oversized really add up. So keep that in mind when you're shopping on places like Etsy and local places where people, you know, are selling a lower quantity of things that shipping is expensive and try and keep that in mind. So I hope this has been fun. I hope you like seeing all of the goodies that are new to my Etsy shop. And I hope that you will click the link and click over and check out what is new and for sale. So thanks for watching. Bye.